We're joined today in the studio again by your pal and mine, Cody. Cody, wave at the good people. Now, notice this. See, he waved with his right hand, and that's my right hand in there. Put your right hand in there, see? So there are two people here, proof. All right, so Cody, I switched out scopes. We got a ham egg here, and this is acting a lot like a Tektronics. It's a much different uh, uh, structure than the old ProTec that we were using. And this guy, uh, I've got my 10 times probe in here, and um, that means it's, it's attenuating the signal by a factor of 10. Cody, did you ever play old video game systems when you were a kid? Um, no. Oh, shoot. Well, I did. Okay. When I was a kid, the video game systems that were new are now old. Okay. Alright, so this is from a Nintendo Entertainment System. That is old. The NES. Inside of it, we find a transformer. Okay. I'm gonna plug this sucker in. Cody, this is another one of those things that you should not do at home. I'm gonna plug this sucker in right here. Can you see that, people yes. of the world? World people? Can you guys see that? Yeah. Uh, it's plugged in, it's open. Alright, I'm gonna take this probe right here, and I'm gonna grab on to this guy, this is connected to the output. Holy cow, Cody, that's a mess. Can you see what that thing's doing? It's all over. It's a really, really big mess. So part of our exercise today, Cody, is to try to figure out how to do stuff with an oscilloscope when you just see a mess. Because chances are you go over to a scope and it's not on the right settings. That's annoying. Yes. What will you try in order to get us so that we can see a nice sign graph? Hmm. Will I try hmm. the... Oh. That's the other <laughs> volt. Okay. That's channel two, that's, Cody. That's not You're bad. a loony. All right. So this one, channel one. Try it. Okay. Yeah. What does it read right now? It reads five volts. Okay. Maybe. Oh, it doesn't read five volts. It reads five millivolts. Hmm. All right. All right. Keep going. What are you going to do? What are you going to try? Maybe. I mean, you didn't even try it, though. You didn't turn it. No. Try, yeah, try turning it to the right. You're, you mean clockwise? Yes. Clockwise. But it's all the way clockwise oh, right now. It's it not get, whoa, oh, that's a funny it's thing. The bottom. Yeah, what I are you going to do? I was looking over here for some mm -hmm. It's I'm not over there. Turn it to the left. Try. Counterclockwise? Counterclockwise. Uh huh. Oh, that seems to be improving. It seems to be improving. Does it, do you think? Well, it does. <laughs> it looks like lasagna. Mmm, <laughs> lasagna. Ooh, that's interesting. That's a beautiful huh. thing. Okay. Now what? Keep going? Well, I mean, whatever you want. It seems to be nicely filling the screen. I like that, I guess. Mm-hmm. So right there. Okay. Maybe, uh, Yeah, because if you go to the right, it's too big for the screen. Yeah. So that's a good size for this particular okay. signal we've got. Yeah, what then what? And then maybe the red thing? Well, this guy is a fine adjustment knob, and I okay. actually want to try to keep it locked in one place. All right. Otherwise, we're, we won't be able to say... Now, it says 0.5 volts per division. If we move this, mm -hmm. then it changes it just slightly, and we don't know exactly what it is. So it has a little bump. It like Feel that. It, it like locks into position. We don't oh. just have it there so okay. it's not messed around. Yeah. This guy right here should probably also be locked into position. That way we can trust those guys. I mean, if we were to use channel two. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to do that. <laughs> no, golly, no. Right. Um, when I try the Y position? Y position. Try turning that. What happens? Okay, I'm going to try turning it Try turning clockwise. the Y position clockwise. Whoop, everything oh. shifts up and, and shifts everything down. shifts down. Put right. it back in the middle there. Okay, all right, seven. all right. That's fine. All right. Good to know about that one. What so, else? Not that. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. What else can we try? Yeah, time. All right. Sure, so time per division. I'm going to adjust this guy back over here so that it's uh, it's accurately telling us what we should have. And what, okay. Which way are you going to turn the time per division? Mm, I'm going to turn it clockwise. Sure. Right. Is that going to be more time per division or less? Um, more. Look at it. Look at it. Less. More time per division. Well, look, if you turn it clockwise, the number's getting bigger or smaller? Bigger. Oh, smaller. Yeah, okay. you mean in the smaller right. sense. It went yeah. from 0 0.1 to 50. Oh, it's transitioning you, units yeah. right there. All right, keep going. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's getting smaller. Yeah, so less time per division. You're taking even mm. less time per division, less time per division, less time per so division. It's, it's not looking Wow, good. no, no. Right. We've got a signal that's slower than what you thought it was initially. Try, turn it to the left. More time per division. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Whoa. No, that's... Where do you want to be, man? Where do you want to be? I want to be right here. I kind of like that right there. Now, this is kind of weird. It's doing some kind of weird tri triggering. I'm just going to move this so that I can get it so it stops triggering that way. I'm going to trigger off of the line. And then we've got that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now, another thing we could do is we can change the focus. Like, sometimes when you turn on a scope, it looks all nasty like that. Okay. And you're actually focusing a beam of light so that it is focused at the... Sorry, focusing the electrons so that it's... um that beam 
looks good. And you can change the intensity. If it's too bright like that, that's jarring. Nobody yeah. likes that, especially on, Hurts my eyes. on a Wednesday. No, turn it down a little bit, like that. Okay. If it gets too dim, though, we could turn it back up. Turn it up, you know what I mean? I know. Okay, <clears throat> I wanna know everything about that signal. I wanna know, for instance, the amplitude and the frequency. Go, tell me what you're thinking. Okay, um, frequency. Yeah? Would be one over period. Frequency is one over period. I like it. I like okay. it. And the period is between two high or two low points. Frequency is between two high points or two low points. I agree with you so far. Go ahead. Um, so we could find frequency by... Wait, like between two troughs, you mean? Like from here? Let's, uh, let's draw on here what we think is the period. From right there to right there, that's what you're saying is the period? Yeah. Uh-huh, I guess I agree with that. That's a period. You know what might be an even better way to measure the period? What? To get two of them. What if we go from here to here? That's okay. two times the period. And then we could uh, calculate the period from that. Okay. And then we could take the inverse of it to get the frequency. Okay. All right? So, can you get me the period? from what you see right there? Um, the period, so if each one of these boxes good, good, good. is 50 microseconds. See where the dot is right there? This is the oh, action line well, right there. I, see, I keep looking at this one for some reason. Oh, well that one doesn't have a white line on it, so it's no good. I have no idea why I'm looking at that. Okay, so five milliseconds. Five milliseconds, go ahead. So if each one of these boxes is five milliseconds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, oh, okay, you're cool. Okay. Why, why does it do that? I don't know. I don't know. It's okay. a sensitive circuit. All right. Don't get your hand near here, you get electrocuted. Okay, I won't do that. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> then from this line to this line would be five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Almost 35. Counting by fives is fun, but I think it might be better to just get how many divisions we have and then we can multiply it out. Okay. I mean, I agree that you'll probably get right in the almost thing, though. But yeah. the best way to do it, I think, is to say this is just slightly to the right of that. You know what we can actually do? We can shift this. See, it says X position. Mm -hmm. We can shift it until it's exactly in the center right there. Okay. There. Now we got one box, two boxes, three boxes, four boxes, five boxes, six boxes, six point what? Give me your best estimate of how many boxes that is. Seven, five. Two times the period is 6.75 boxes. See, I wrote that down for you. Two times the period is 6.75 boxes. Okay. So, uh, one period then is how many boxes? Um, uh huh. 6.75 divided by two. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm supposed to multiply that by how many volts per division? You're supposed to multiply that by five. Five, oh, sorry, how many, mil sorry, milliseconds. We're talking yeah. about time. Oh. I'm so sorry. Volts. Wait, are we talking about time? We or? are talking about time. We're talking about time. Sorry. So five milliseconds. <laughs> five milliseconds per, per division. division. Okay, yeah. so I've got 3.375 and I'm gonna multiply that by five milliseconds and I get 16.875 milliseconds. Oh my gosh. Sorry, internet people. 16.875, let's call it 16.8 milliseconds. 16.8 milliseconds and that is, I'm about to take the inverse of that sucker. I'm going to take one divided by 0 0.0168. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm Guess what? Can you read that? 60. Well, Tell those good people. It says 59.5, right? Yeah. 59.5 is really close to 60. What are you thinking about this Nintendo Entertainment System? What's it putting out? 60... Volts. Units. Units. 60... 60 frequency units. Okay. How do you measure frequency? How do you measure how often something happens? Um, you hit your hammer on your thumb. Hurts, don't it? Yeah, a little bit. Mm-hmm. Ow. Hurts. Oh, hurts! 60, oh, oh, yeah, 60 hertz. All right, so we're talking about 60 hertz. Let's read this thing right here. It says, Nintendo Entertainment System, output AC, Nine volts. Well, let's see about this nine volts contention right here. We have found that the frequency is 59.5 hertz. Okay. Which is probably 60. It's probably supposed to be 60, and guess what? That's what our wall's doing here in America. That's the way we roll. Now, okay. we're trying to find the amplitude, too. Go. Amplitude. Amplitude. So, amplitude is from midline to the bottom of the well. True. Or midline to the top. Yeah. But... What if instead we got twice the amplitude? 
So all the way from the top to the bottom. Yeah. That would be two times A, right? That would be. So another nice thing we can do is we already know about the time basis, so let's bring this in right here, and then we can just say, uh, ooh, let's bring it right way out here again. Remember when we had it out here and we weren't triggering right? We were triggering like this. We made like a, a bulk line and we went like that. There, the lasagna. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that we can best get peak to peak like this. Yeah. And what would be even more interesting is what if I just uh, raised this or lowered it? Because I don't care because I'm getting twice the amplitude. Yeah. What if I raised or lowered it? Where am I doing this? Y position? Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Raise it or lower it until the bottom is at one of these lines. Maybe not the midpoint, but a okay. little lower. Like that one right there. We're going to take that one. That will work. Sure. Right in the center, we're measuring that. So how many boxes do we have to get twice the amplitude? Um, one box, two box, three box, four box. Point four. 4.4 4 boxes, I think that's a perfect estimate. 4.4 4 boxes equals twice the amplitude. What's the amplitude there, Cody? The amplitude is... Volts is 0.5, so do we have to multiply 4.4 times 0.5? 4.4 times 0.5 will give you twice the amplitude. And then divide by 2. Absolutely. So, can you do it all in your head? Do you want in to? In my head? Well, okay. why not, right? 4.4 4 times 0.5 would be 2.2. Mm -hmm. And then 2.2 .2 divided by 2 would be 1.1. 1.1 volts. But I read that box and it said 9 volts. Hmm. 1.1 volts. And I read the box and it said 9 volts. What the heck? I don't know. You forgot the 10 times probe! Uh. <laughs> That's like a land war in Asia! <laughs> so, we're gonna multiply that by 10. Okay. We're gonna say that the amplitude is 11 volts. And what's interesting is they promised us that we'd have an output of, uh, what, 9 volts? Yeah. But I don't know if they were talking about peak to peak. It's maybe, it's possible that they were talking about uh, RMS value. So I'll take 11 volts, which was our calculated amplitude, yes. and divide it by the screwed of two. There we go. And I get 7.78 volts. Seems like if they were trying to get nine volts, they didn't do quite such a great job. Yeah.